What is beyond this western horizon is my question. In my case, it's the Columbia River basalt. Flood basalts from the original Yellowstone, 17 to 13 million years old, flowing like floods all the way to the coast. And beyond that are the 40 million year old Cascades. I've almost reached the Cascades in Washington and Oregon. This is Mount Adams in Washington. And as I pan west, this is Mount Hood in Oregon. Mount Hood, a stratovolcano. Mount Hood in Oregon is one of the most active volcanoes in Oregon. It's a arc volcano. Arc volcanoes occur where subduction happens. It's kind of characteristic of Earth's tectonics where ocean crust dives under continental crust generating partial melting because of the water that gets down with that sea sediment. This gray rock here is an andesite. That's characteristic of a subduction volcano at a conversion boundary. You can see the white plagioclase. The white plagioclase and some of the darker minerals are hard to see, but they could be pyroxene or hornblende. This is the kind of lava that has a viscosity of smooth peanut butter. And peanut butter doesn't flow very well. It's highly viscous and lava, the viscosity of smooth peanut butter stacks rather steeply. As you can see on Mount Hood here, the andesite creates a very steep cone. When this volcano is active, it's rather explosive. Gases coming out into the stratosphere, ash falling, and lava flows clinking their way down much thicker than the basalt that I just looked at. Uh, from the Columbia River basalt flows, much thicker and much slower types of lava flows. And then when this material gets wet from melting ice and a lot of snow, um, mud flows, debris flows of mud called lahars, rocks, broken rocks, ash, a slurry of this material comes sweeping down the sides of this volcano. And that's why it's called a strata volcano. It's a strata of ash lava flows, debris flows from different times. This volcano has been active for a million and a half years. It was active half a million years ago. It was active 400,000 years ago. It was active again 20,000 years ago. It was active a couple hundred years ago. Mount Hood in Oregon. That's only a little bit of water, but there has been more coming down this flow. When it's flooding, it rips. This actually looks like pumice in volcanic material. See this dark class here by my thumb and another one here in crushed pumice.
Just imagine this foaming hot lava with exploding pumice, ash, mixing with this magma and flowing across the landscape. You wouldn't want to be there. I'm just north of Mount Hood, and uh, Hot Springs called Brighton Bush is over to the right here of this stream. And it has operates on three wells. Uh, one is down into fractured bedrock 700 feet, um, artesian flow of 205 degrees water. And uh, so Mount Hood and the general area here has huge potential for geothermal energy. Very hot here. 